Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a good day and happy Friday. Today, I'm going to be trying to recreate my black and gold uh, bar stool that I made. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. And I'm going to be pouring on vinyl records today. I'm going to be using the same colors I used before. The Artisan Mica Pigments in Onyx and Titanium, Stone Coat Countertops Black Base Tint, Angel White by Lorez, my favorite white and maroon gold and I prepped these guys by just uh, taking them outside and hitting them with a couple coats of that uh, spray paint primer that I just showed on both sides and then I also taped them on the back with electrical tape so here I'm just going in with a little bit of the onyx and a little bit of the stone coat countertops black base tint mixed together and I just smooth that out with my gloved hand now I'm going to go in with more onyx and I was just kind of creating a little circle going around on the uh, records here. I never poured on vinyl records before and I'm wondering would it work with acrylics? Has anyone tried that? Let me know down in the comments. And then here I'm just going in next to the onyx with the angel white by Lorez and the titanium next to that. And I'm also going to put some titanium on top of the angel white. That gives you a really nice shimmer. And the titanium sits on top. Very, very shimmery. It's beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm just going to make puddles. Do a couple little puddle pours here with my onyx. And then I'll put some angel white on that. And then some titanium and a little bit of the maroon gold. And um, for these records, what I did is I took a label, um, you know, the kind of labels you can use when you want to make labels on your computer and you can print them out yourself. It's like a 3M label. And I uh, covered the hole on both sides of these vinyl records. And I made sure, you know, there was no bubbles or anything when I laid the label down. And uh, I sprayed it after that with the spray paint primer. Because I've poured before on things where there was a hole and I taped the back. So the resin, you know, would just fill in the hole. And it didn't look right. So I wanted to try it this way and it ended up working out fine. So here I'm just going in and doing a rim around the vinyl record with maroon gold because that's what I did on my bar stool. And here is the black base tint. I'm just making a barrier around my puddle pourer. And on the one on the left, I'm adding a little bit more base tint up on the top there. And here I'm just going in with a little bit of the angel white and just putting that next to the stone coat black base tint that I laid down. And the base tints, you have to blow your colors over the base tint to get your cells and your lacing. And I just put a little bit of titanium on top of that angel white too that I laid down. So here I'm going in with my heat gun and I was trying to not be heavy handed with the heat because I know that these things do not take heat well. Shout out to Doris at DF Designs. I'll link her channel down below. She does awesome resin art and I was thinking of her when I was doing this because she always says when she does vinyl records don't do too much heat don't do too much heat and I was like oh my god I don't want to do too much heat because this thing will warp in no time they're very thin I did not realize vinyl records were so thin but the, these turned out really awesome you'll see in the end they're they don't look alike at all but they kind of go together because they're the same colors so here I was just kind of taking my heat gun, putting it at an angle, and just trying to blow my colors over the base tint, warm up the resin, you know, so it moves around easily, but trying not to add too much heat because I didn't want my records to warp. And here, see, I'm just taking my heat gun, putting it at an angle, blowing that puddle over the base tint. And you'll see all the cells starting to form and pop up. With resin, you know, it's it's one of those things, if you just let it wait and let it do its thing, lots of awesome stuff will happen. But it's hard to wait because, you know, you want to see the results instantly. You're like, come on. But if you just let it do its thing, it'll it'll start working its magic. See the one on the left here, how it all the cells are showing up. And as it cures, you know, stuff's going to move around and spread out because it's going to self level and everything's going to, you know, move. So 
On the right here, I decided to add a little bit more. I wasn't liking how that puddle pour was looking in the middle. So I went in with the black base tint, a little bit of the Maran gold, Now I'm just adding some angel white next to the maroon gold. Now I'm just going to take my heat gun on high heat and push my colors over that stone coat base tint. I'm going to try to get some cells and lacing going on. You see if you hold your heat gun in one spot too long you'll get kind of like a hole where there's no color. But you can just go in like this and blend that out. See? So I think I'm gonna call these guys done. I'm gonna tilt this one a little bit and I'm gonna let these guys dry or cure for 24 hours and I will show you what they look like when they're all done. And here they are. They turned out really pretty. This is the one that was on the left side that I was working on. It has a lot of depth. You can see it looks like it's kind of 3D with the angel white sitting on top there and it's all wispy and pretty. I love how these turned out. They don't really look like my bar stool, but you know, it's really hard to recreate something. I love this section here. It's got like ghosty type cells and lacing happening. And you can see the shimmer from the onyx mica powder and the titanium mica powder. I got some nice maroon gold lacing on here too. I love how these are the I'm going to show you the reflection of the gold. I love how the gold is just so reflective. I love it. What do you guys think about this one? The other one has ton, a ton more cells and lacing, so you'll see that in a second. I love this little section too, more gold. You know me, I love gold. <laughs> so this is the other one. See what I was talking about? It's got tons of cells and lacing. This section's really awesome. It's got like the angel white, the titanium, the onyx, and the gold all in one little section doing some magic. The angel white is so pretty and wispy. It really gives it like a 3D effect. And here you can see the um, maroon gold cells and the angel white and titanium and all that's right there. This is the part that uh, we went in and added more black base tint and then kind of blew our colors over it and got these cells. I love this section too where you can see the titanium and the onyx underneath the angel white. Here's some still shots of it. I wanted to add those too because those are really pretty. What do you guys think of these? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope everybody's having a great day and everybody has a great weekend. Um, like I said, I will link the bar stool creation video down below, and then I'll also link a few other resin art videos where I show you how to mix up your resin and your pigments and your paste. So check those out if you want to know how to do that. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. I'll see you on Monday for another video. Bye.